How's it going guys? Uh, finally back out on a lake. Um, I'm going to be doing some river fishing soon as well. Um, it's, oh, is that a bite? Oh, is that a bite? Yeah, boys. Oh, I ain't reading, man. Oh, oh. Whatever it is, he's hammering. He's proper hammering. I don't know. I'm trying to film and hold this fish at the same time. <laughs> My lovely assistant would like to. Oh, he's heavy. Oh my god, he's a monster! It's a monster! It's a monster! <laughs> no, no, I'm fighting for me. Oh, cheers, mate! <laughs> so. <laughs> this is so. Hey. That was a bit of a... <laughs> that was a surprise. I was just filming the intro and we got that. <laughs> this, believe it or not, this is actually our fourth fish today for me anyway. I was just about to say we were here doing bream fishing and then this guy surprised me and um, caught me off guard. So that was a nice little surprise. Alright, that was caught on the float. So um, I'm going to get her back and um, see, see if we can get some more. Yeah, guys. So now the bites have dried up a bit after my lovely little surprise fish, which you now know. Um, I thought I'd show you the bait we're using. Uh, it's not the generic bream bait because we are going for bream. Well, at least I thought I was going for bream. Um, don't even say that's a bite again because I will have a heart attack. Um, you know, uh, the bait I'm using today is just lunch and meat. Uh, we did have some prawns earlier but it's slowed down so we're, we're staying with the, the lunch and meat today. And what we're doing is feeding it cubed and then also what we're doing we're just breaking bits off, mashing it up in our fingers and then chucking it out and that's our loose feed. So I'm hoping the oils sort of go out into the water and um, they can smell it, it just spreads out like an oil slick. Um, if you feed a lot of meat, you can actually see this on the surface. Um, just bear in mind, oil does take oxygen out of the water. So that if you're in a small lake, keep the, the meat down to minimum, unless they have like um, a water filter or something like, here they've got aerators and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, no, I mean, it's all, it's like that, it's their rules, you do what you want to do, but that's just what I do. I. I feel that's the way it's meant to be. Um, but anyway, so that's what we're doing, just using little meat cubes on size 8 hooks. On, um, I'm using a reed waggler with a little bit overkill because I'm fishing close into margins. I'm using 10 pound line um, and I'm using a, well, it's meant to be a 2AA float, but it's, I've put six um, just to cock it. So, um, yeah, so that's the way we're going today. Um, and we'll, we'll see how it, it finishes off, but um, I'm not being rude, I'm looking at my float by the way, just, uh, um, we'll see how it goes and we'll see how it finishes off. So. Right guys, I've been fishing about, what, half hour on the bomb, uh, this beautiful bream, and this is a raw prawn, didn't really fight much. But um, yeah, beautiful fish. Let's see what else we can catch. Alright guys, second fish of the day I swapped to float because the bomb won't do much. Um, got this beautiful another another beautiful bream. Um, I think there's a swarm of them down there, so hopefully we'll be in some more. Sweet. Let's have another one. Alright guys. Third fish of the day, another beautiful bream. Um, I think they're getting bigger. Oh god. Woo! And that's why you either always hold it over a net or a landing mat. Oh no, huh? okay, Max. Don't ever let them get on the floor. They've got special slime on their skins. Yeah. I think this one's a male. Yeah. 
beautiful, beautiful fish. I'm really happy with that. That's my third one today. That's all on, that's, uh, I've had one on, um, one on bomb, two on float. Just getting out. Result, I think. Is that a big shot, result? Yeah, result. Oh! I thought it was dead. No, it's a bream. <laughs> No, bream just are sluggish. They're not like carp. Mm, my first bream. Charlotte's first ever bream, and that's a nice one as well. So, just for the last hour before we packed up, Charlotte, my lovely, hooked this beautiful bream on a lovely little bit of spam. You happy? Yes. All right, she's going to put them back. See how we're holding them quite low to the ground and above on the hooking mat. Always do that when you have these fish. Alright, we're going to get her back, alright? Let's just get the slammer back. <laughs> yeah, guys. Um, something I didn't expect. Um, but they're, they're in this water. I've hooked a pike. Um, did not expect it. I'm not using any trace, anything like that. It was on a little, little bit of lunch meat. Um, it was hungry. Yeah. So, I'll get it in. And then we'll unhook it and then we'll get her back as quick as possible because it is summer. I don't really like fishing for these guys in the summer. So, come here. I've got to be really careful because I've got no trace at all. Right, a little surprise for Pike. I didn't expect him, but you can see here, um, I've actually got some first aid spray. He's been nabbed by a bigger Pike, um, probably his mum. Um, not more than anything, but you can see he's got some nasty wounds there. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get him back as quick as possible, give him the best chance as possible, alright? Well, what a day! What a day, eh, Charlotte? Yeah. We've had, we came here for Bream on the float, and <laughs> we've come for Bream, <laughs> and we had carp. As you saw right at the very beginning of this video. And right at the end, we hooked a pike. So, yeah, it's been a real mixed bag today. Um, I'm now I'm burned and charged like a wrinkled prune. But, um, yeah, so um, I'll see you. Hopefully, um, I'll get on the on the, a lake or a river soon. And um, we'll get a video out again. Bye.